shit! Caffeine is messing me up. Now, I did not think that I have such a caffeine addiction, right? <laughs> but I went cold turkey yesterday and I feel like death reincarnated. I did not think it was this bad. Was I in denial? <laughs> I... I can't imagine being addicted to like opioids or something. <clears throat> I can totally see why some people die uh, on like opioid withdrawal. Withdrawal. This is just co coffee or caffeine. How many times stronger is meth than caffeine? Like one million times or something? If I'm gonna take my headache and multiply it by one million, I can't even imagine it. Like what the hell? I guess that's why going cold turkey is not recommended, usually. You, you usually want to step it down. Where the hell is St. Vincent? Is it here? No. Fuck. God damn it. I've forgotten everything. Tunisia. I know what that is. Canada. Barbuda. <clears throat> oh my god. I, I clicked it before. Okay, I need to relax here. Take a sip of not coffee. This is green tea. Now, I know green tea actually has caffeine in it, but I don't think it's... I believe it's just a few milligrams per cup. While a cup of coffee can have up to 200 milligrams. If you have a large cup, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, if you excessively drink caffeine or consume caffeine, will you destroy your your like responsiveness to caffeine? I don't know if it's anything permanent or if it's possible to bring it back. Like if you're a severe caffeine abuser, uh, will you ruin your... Receptiveness to caffeine forever? I don't know. I never really thought about it. Guinea-Bissau is the smaller Guinea here. <clears throat> but this is actually not the first time I've gone cold turkey. When I, I remember, let me tell you a story of when I was like, I don't know, 12 years old, you know, in middle school, or, yeah, it's in middle school when you're 12. Uh, no, always Zimbabwe and Zambia, man. Uh, I used to, this was roughly the time when energy drinks started to become like a thing, and there was no... Um, restriction to who could buy energy drinks right now there's an age limit usually it's 15 but some places it's even 18 which is just ludicrous right anyway there was no restrictions and i was like 12 and i drank these half a liter cans they were delicious i was like this is the tastiest thing in the universe uh <laughs> and they were really cheap i think translated it's roughly like a dollar per half a liter of um, energy drink. I believe it was called Frank's. Frank's energy drink. And uh, I drank at least like three, if not more, of those half liter cans a day when I was 12 years old. <laughs> so you can just imagine what happened. I consistently drinking that and uh, for I don't know how long, at least a few months. It eventually, I eventually got like nosebleeds out of nowhere, and I do, I never get nosebleeds, so that, you know, little young me got pretty freaked out. Uh, but I did connect it to my energy drinking. Uh, come on. And um, I stopped because I got scared, right? <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't want this, <laughs> and that. 
that withdrawal was pretty gnarly. It's, it was a long time now, it's hard to remember it, but it, it did also feel like death reincarnate. But I, I think maybe... Because um, before that, I haven't consumed caffeine at all, unless from like Coca-Cola's, right? And uh, I believe that uh, like drinking one cup of coffee for like years will give you like the same kind of withdrawal as drinking like two liters of energy drink for three months or whatever. So I think like the compound drinking I've been doing made this one pretty bad. Because I don't drink that much. <laughs> Is that, isn't that the classic denial phrase? But <laughs> I drink maybe one, two cups of coffee a day. Sometimes I add like an energy drink on top of that when I go to the gym. Which in the end probably ends up being like 400 milligrams of caffeine, right? Which maybe is more than recommended. Uh, but I do believe that kind of consistently grinding <laughs> on the caffeine drinking grind does like compound the uh, the withdrawal that you're gonna have, even though if the daily consumption is not that not, not that much. <clears throat> oh fuck! Venezuela, it's Colombia that's the larger one. Anyway, so I was actually looking on speedrun.com. It's right here. <laughs> that's what I clicked. I got caught by the ads. Sue me. Uh. And I actually looked up the high scores and, you know, of course they're like insane. I can't even like comprehend how you can click that fast. But uh, I looked up at some like obscure ones, like the provinces of Sweden. And there's actually two people who have speed sped run it. What's the... That have done speed runs on it. And... Um, I believe it was 23 seconds and 28 seconds. And I, I was like, I can beat that. I'll even make it into a funny video, right? No. I could not for the life of me get under 23 seconds uh, placing all the provinces of Sweden. I, I think my best time was like 25 seconds. And that was like with a bit of luck when like the, the provinces you have to click on are like next to each other. Um, and I tried for maybe like an hour and I'm like, this is, I'm not going to get it. And it was only two competitors and I bet they didn't even try. <laughs> maybe I'll go back to it. I'll show these zoomers how to click. Honduras. Is that? Yeah. What? Oh, it's the... Oh. <sighs> yeah, when I watch some of these speedruns, like on Cetera, this game I'm playing right now, I can't even comprehend how they do it. Like, I, le I legit cannot understand how they can read the text on the screen and react to where to place it fast enough. It actually blows my mind. Maybe there's some trick to it. I don't know. Maybe they're cheating. Who knows, right? But at face value, I can't understand it. <laughs> I guess it is <clears throat> nice to watch speedruns on like easy games like this. It's a point and click baby game, right? Anyone can play this. And uh, since it's so easy to play, when you watch the speedrun it, you can very easily like try and do the speedrun and you come to realize that you suck ass. But if you play like a very difficult game, like oh I don't know. Anything complicated really. And you watch a speedrun of it, it's maybe difficult to even relate to how hard they're doing it, since you can't even like get close to what they're doing. Meanwhile here it's just clicking, right? Just click. So it's, diff it's easy to understand how difficult the speedrun is. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. 
Oh no. Salmon Islands. Yes. Why was I even worried? Um, I was thinking about um, right now this trailblazers in um, RuneScape, right? And it was very successful. I think it's very enjoyable. I haven't played it, even though I did get uh, I landed a friend's account and got uh, the fire cape on it. And that's the first time I got the fire cape in like ten years, if not longer than that. I quit RuneScape when they updated the, the climbing boots to the ALK value went from like 200 GP to like 70k or whatever the fuck, like no, for like 40k. And uh, that was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back. And I quit there. I believe that was like 2011 or something. That's when I quit. And you know, I got the 5k way before that, right? So, however. I did with me um, with melee uh, but it's if you don't know in trailblazers uh, you have a bunch of uh, relics <clears throat> and I had that twice um, like when you hit really fast you go <laughs> the whip goes insane so while I've never done the fire the fight caves with melee it was a lot easier when you hit twice as fast <laughs> And I actually did it on my first try, which was pretty sick. Um, but I've been thinking, what should the next Trailblazers be? Trailblazers be? Because uh, they should mix it up, right? I mean, this one was very successful, and maybe they should keep the same idea. <clears throat> but... Uh, I don't know, maybe they should keep the same, like I had some crazy ideas, like oh, what if uh, you remove all the trees in RuneScape, and you had one tree that spawned, and everybody can only train woodcutting, and you would have to teleport to that tree to get to 99 first, like extremely dumb ideas, right? But what that would test is... Uh, like your knowledge of teleportation connections uh, in RuneScape, which I feel is, is a skill in it in of itself, right? Also, I only now realize that Libya has changed their flag. It used to be entirely green, but from the fall of Gaddafi in 2011, it changed flags. I'm, I'm just slow. <laughs> Did I really just mention Gaddafi in a video? Whatever. Czech Republic is here. Ah, remember the days when you can actually go out and protest? Oh wait, people are, are, are doing it anyway, it doesn't matter. Pandem pandemic schmandemic. It's not real, right? Am I right? High five. Liechtenstein, Arme no, that's Moldova. Armenia's over here. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, fuck. I listened to the podcast with uh, uh, Dan Giesling and Small Ant. Dan Giesling, the Big Brother winner and Big Brother runner up. And now famous YouTuber and collaborator with my favorite YouTuber, Northern Lion. <laughs> they did, uh, or he did uh, a podcast with Smallant, the speedrunner. And um, the very successful young speedrunner, Smallant. And it was a very good podcast because it was sort of inspirational how much or how Smallland managed to grow his uh, channel. You know, taking it, what he says, at face value, he worked very hard. And... 
it is inspirational, but you know, I've talked previously about listening to like inspiration too much. But maybe that's the one time I actually should listen to it. I don't know. I never said never listen to inspirational stuff. I only said plenty of people listen to too 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 much of it. <laughs> too too much of it. I don't know. But anyway, he talked about that it pretty much for a, a long ass time. He essentially lived and breathed uh, speedrunning and streaming. Essentially like 16 hours a day, according to himself. And I'm like, whoa. I don't, I don't even spend a quarter of that time focusing on anything I want. And this guy... <laughs> Spent 16 hours speedrunning? He must be he must be crazy. But you know who's the fool now? I don't have anything. He has a successful channel. <laughs> I shouldn't talk like that. Oh I have food on my table, I have clean water, I'm a rich man. Where's Jordan? It's over here. Man, I keep forgetting how fucking long this takes. I already talked about what I fucking want to talk about. Ah, oh, Lithuania, my favorite. Ah, oh, Romania. Where you go to when you fail med school in Sweden. <laughs> I say chalice. Maybe I should learn something, right? Ah, uh, nah. Learning is for chumps, anyway. Who even needs learning? You know what I hate? Trees. What did he even do? Poker anyone? She just remove all trees. If you remove all trees and uh, just pave a road, like not just a normal road, like just a huge square of asphalt over where the forest was, it would be so much easier to travel. I'd, I'd be for that. Then I can finally drive my diesel truck really fast to the supermarket to pick up my coffee. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! I haven't been learning much Japanese lately. Like, I've been watching Japanese stuff, but I haven't been actively learning. Maybe that's good, though, right? You know, that's... I bet it's, that still sort of helps in language learning. You know, being, like, exposed to uh, the language. Because that's always... The, you know how people always talk about how children learn languages better? And I'm like, no. What are you... It only appears like that because you're a fucking... It, because you don't understand, right? These kids as many videos explain, they spend like the first two, three years of their life listening to the language. They spend years just listening to the language. And then when they try to speak, it's a whole lot easier because they have some sort of like bank of words that they've heard before. <laughs> if you spend three years actively trying to understand a language, only listening for three whole ass years, and then try and like make basic sentences. It's gonna be a whole lot easier than if you've never heard the language before. It's just crazy talk to say that children like learn faster than adults. Doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs>